Hi guys, so we know that Boris Johnson fast-tracked the ratification of his Brexit deal through Parliament. Even Keir Starmer, the Labour leader, whipped his MPs to support it before they got a chance to read it, and Parliament wasn't given enough time to scrutinise it. But that wasn't important, it was ratified anyway. The EU, to the ire of Brexiteers, actually took a different approach. They said, no, we need to read the friggin' thing first, we need to scrutinise it, and then, when we're sure what it contains, we will vote on it in Parliament. Well, four months after the end of the transition period, the European Union are close to ratifying Boris Johnson's deal with them in the European Parliament. However, there are a few caveats. Leaked documents related to this have been published by the media. In them, they say a number of things, some of which are certain to piss off Brexiteers. The first deals with justice and human rights. The European Union has said that they will terminate criminal law cooperation under the deal if the UK denounces the European Convention on Human Rights or harms protections in the Human Rights Act, which is part of UK law. This has been something that Boris Johnson has hinted about maintaining, but some Tories have been vocal about dumping. Isn't it interesting that the European Union cares more about the human rights of UK citizens than their own government does? They have also said that in the case that a data protection adequacy decision is ended, it's possible that the EU will end criminal law cooperation under the deal as a whole if it's deemed necessary. However, it includes the option under the Brexit deal for either side to terminate the criminal law part in the event that the UK or a member state denounces the European Convention of Human Rights or any of the three protocols those being number 1, 6 or 13. The papers say that if this happened, this wouldn't end all criminal cooperation between EU member states and the UK, but by denouncing the European Convention on Human Rights, it could interfere with their application. This does not affect existing international treaties on extradition, for example. The European Council is also going forward with other statements that were already agreed back in February, these concern implementation, fisheries and equality of member states. But the previously agreed statements have been amended from two months ago. The fisheries text now refers to the possibility of retaliation if there is no agreement. The hated level playing field, which was a thorn in Boris Johnson's side, is also mentioned. The European Commission will play a bigger role, it seems, in verifying whether the criteria set by the agreement between the EU and the UK has actually been met. The leaked documents make no reference to the Northern Ireland Protocol nor the Withdrawal Agreement, but of course we knew this was something separate. I believe after the EU has scrutinised this deal, there has been an impetus to shore up legal protections and possible sanctions against the UK if they are deviating from the agreement. It is understandable when we heard statements not long ago from the Northern Ireland Secretary of State claiming that the UK would break international law if in a limited and specific way. Yes, the EU does things slowly and it is sure to dot its I's and cross its T's. It must be remembered that there is eroded confidence between the EU and the UK at the moment and while a huge amount of trust was put in Boris Johnson's government to fully implement the Northern Ireland Protocol, political shenanigans have put some in Brussels on edge, it seems, and full scrutiny was demanded. The vote on this is expected on Tuesday, but it could be postponed. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?